All right, guys, I am back, but it's like three days later, so I'm going to be real honest and up front right away. Forgot where we were. Um, literally, Sunday night happened, and obviously, oh, let's see, I even forgot to cap off the glue completely. Oh, my goodness. I tell you what, like, I am so excited. Like, I just feel really accomplished this week in, like, the accounting business. So, yeah, we're going to chalk this week up to a uh, woohoo. Um... So let's get back to this. Okay, so I did manage to stop at my local office depot and I picked up a variety pack. And I think we're going to try the one and three quarters and see what we get. Because the two inch ones just seem like a bit crazy um, for, a, I don't want to say this journal small, but I mean it's on the smaller side. So, and I'm hoping that we can just kind of do this and catch everything okay so I didn't get any responses yet or maybe you haven't seen that video yet how funny is that <laughs> I'm expecting responses on videos I haven't even aired yet <laughs> oh my gosh seriously this week has been absolutely like busy fun and just like nuts I tell ya nuts I tell ya um yeah, so I've gotten some more appointments with the tax office, so yay, 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 super excited. But also, I finally have all of Dad's tax stuff done, so that's always, like, great. Um, so yeah, we're getting down to where I'll only have just, like, normal office stuff at his place, and then I'll just have, like, accounting appointments and this beautiful stuff to work on. So... All right, long story short, I think I said we would decorate this together, which we will. And I'm wondering, um, and by the time you see this, it will have actually already aired. I'm not sure if we're supposed to put extra boards in there. But I think, I think what we might need to do, see how it's kind of flopping like that? I'm wondering if I need to put like, oh, oh and there's Piper. I am sure you guys all enjoy hearing whiny puppy syndrome. Um, yeah, she, I tell you what, she was so good last week and she suckered us into week two, right? And oh my goodness, she has been obnoxious. But what I was saying is I wonder if we need to put um, like some laces to kind of, or is this how they're supposed to look? I don't know. I don't know. Just see, I mean, I'm used to alligator mouth because that's how I roll, right? Um, but yeah, you gotta let me know if it looks if it looks pretty normal. I mean, I think it does. So yeah, um, yeah. So let's see. And where were we gonna? I don't remember now where we were supposed to be putting that. Um, this I don't remember where it was supposed to go I think we had it closer to the back right something like that oh and I think the only thing I added without you might have been this stuff here which I didn't figure you'd care about washi tape and then I went ahead and put on a little sack back here and oh did, I, did we do these tags together we did do these tags together yep like I said it's been a couple of days um, yeah, so I just did that sack and then I just used the paper, right? And so, so far, the only thing I have left out of the paper pack is this. Like, this. This is it. That's it. That's all of it. So, bonus, right? Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. There's, there's those two pieces. Yeah. Right? Yep, yeah, because that's kit paper, which I can use in other places, right? Right? Yep, just making sure I'm not lying. There you go. All right, so yep, that's it. That is all that's left out of the kit. Um, so, or not out of the kit, I apologize. What's left out of the um, paper pad. And again, that one, I'll show it to you again. Um, I've had some questions on it. I see Chow Bella, but I'm not sure that that's actually the name. I think I've heard it said, um, I, I don't know what else I've, I've heard, but it's also said it's 100% made and printed in Italy. I got mine at the brick and mortar store, so I don't know. 
And I was actually thinking what might be kind of cute is to cut some of this top piece out and do like this one in there and then put it on the eco, um, Susan's eco print here is kind of what I was thinking. So, but we need to decorate this bad boy here. Um, and I actually have like no ideas. Um, we could do like some fussy cutting or we could make it like a square but that kind of defeats the purpose of having the round stuff, right? Let's see, and I think it actually goes in this direction. So, you know what I might do is just kind of, um, so we can bring it in a little bit. Maybe I'll do here, just like mark it here and here. And we do have a little bit of tearing going on in the book, so maybe I'll just tear a little bit up, kind of circle-ish, right? And then we can always tear more if we need it, right? Let's go just a little bit higher, like right in this area here. Maybe. And I do think, I did say the mermaid journals are next. And they kind of are. Um, but I think... Um, I think what I'm going to do is um, I need a couple of fill-in. Um, I don't want to say fill-in, but I, I need I need some like some other projects that I need to finish up really quick. Um, and I don't know how long exactly that other the mermaid kit is going to be. Like I don't know how long the series is, is because I'm only like half done filming. But I think they won't air until Monday. Um, I'm trying with all my might to kind of get a schedule-ish going on. Um, and so, because I'd like to do the thir uh, 3 and 30 minute challenge. I think that might be really fun. Um, of course, I don't have a lot of the stuff that others have used. So we're just going to kind of have to, you know, fake it till we make it type of thing. Um, but that being said, I, I'd like to do that as like, kind of like filler videos. And then I've got a new design team project that I got to get done for, um, Emily at MFMS Treasures. And if you haven't been over there, you should totally go. She's got some new stuff out and it's really cute. Um, so I got to do that. And then I know I said back in January, um, I had given one of my friends a altered notebook and she loved it and I have all the stuff to make another one for her because it's going to be um, farm animals and uh, so yeah I, I have it all printed it's all ready it's in one of my blue notebooks I think I might do like a video of that um, I don't know, is Altered Notebook something that everybody's seen? Or, you know, just trying to... I don't think a ton of my... Um, I have I have several, like, new to junk journaling um, people here. So, I don't know that they would have seen it yet. That one's going to be a little off, but we're all right. Um, and I really wish I had not done that specifically, but that's okay. Maybe if I bring it up a little bit, right, there's, we can do that, right? And maybe take this edge off. Yes, I'm talking to myself, sorry. Okay, and I think I'm actually going to glue this one first. But anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I want I think that's going to be Saturday's video cuz this will air Friday and it's Wednesday here. So yeah, that'll air Saturday or I'm thinking Saturday and then Sunday, I am assuming it's going to take me two videos to get that one done. That's what I would assume. Like that would be a safe assumption.
Oh, I, guys, I gotta say, I'm pretty stoked that I used almost all of the pack. Almost all of it. Well, I won't say all the pack. I will say that I used all the scraps from what I cut. Yep, yep, super excited about that. I realize it's not going to happen every time, but all the times it can happen, I'm going to enjoy every minute of it. I hope that's not showing, but you guys are plugged in because, it, like I said, it's been busy. Oh, and I did this new app thing. <laughs> um, it's like, I don't know how many of you would have heard of like Angie's List or like, um, uh, um, um, spit it out, spit it out, um, Um, I think there's like a daddy, daddy -o one or something. And it's basically like a professional app and people could go there. Um, it's almost like that Tinder or whatever it is where you like meet people only like it's for business. And, um, so there's, I, I opened an account like that, right? For the tax business, right? I kid you not. There's people from all over the United States asking, like, like wanting to do it and I was like do you guys not realize that I'm in Colorado like like it's cool but yeah um pretty sure you don't want to send me your huge corporation stuff over I'm like I mean I guess you probably could but but I'm thinking that that might be more time and effort than it would be worth I mean maybe I'm wrong okay so I'm going to tear just a little bit here Oh, yeah, but now you're going to hear the cats. I tell you, that well, the last little while, like, nobody's used to mom being home. So, you know, there's that. Well, that's kind of cute, huh? Well, not with a long tail on it. It's not cute. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you signed up for Goofball today, you're sure going to get it. And oh my goodness. Okay, so 400 came and went really quickly, which I'm really thankful for. But I'm also like behind on um, a giveaway. So, and I haven't quite decided what the 400 subscriber giveaway is going to be. I, I don't know. Um, what does everybody want? Like, I, okay, I can tell you first off, um, getting, getting, um, any supplies for me is probably not going to happen because I myself don't have a ton of supplies. So that's probably not it. But what all would you guys like? Like, I was thinking like ephemera or a journal or, cause we're going to have to have a 500 subscriber giveaway here soon too, which awesome so excited and then I'm wondering just a side note here I'm wondering if I can just fill in with the back of it like all of the extras like the last little strips just kind of strip it down that's what we're gonna do anyways is there something that you guys would like and again um, to all the new subscribers um, how I am doing my subscriptions now is that I don't I'm not advertising it per se um, like I might the 500, but the 400 one, like you'll know that it's a giveaway video because it will have a heart on it. 
Make sense? So um, every time you see a heart come up in one of my titles, and it'll be on the title, not in the description, um, you'll know, be like I said, because it'll come up as a heart in my, in my, um, in my uh, uh, title box. Like the minute you get the notification, you're gonna know because it's gonna have a heart in the title. Let's do, maybe let's lighten it up a little bit and do this one. But yeah, so is there something that you guys would like? I'm like, I've done journals before. Would you guys like me to make you some ephemera? Like an ephemera folder? Or I need to make some more like ephemera holder like notebooks, kind of like Gail uses. I need to make a couple more of those. So I'd be happy to make one of those as a giveaway if somebody would like that. Um, so yeah, just let me know. And then I can get cracking on that. Because that's actually something that I can bring with me to the tax office because it doesn't, obviously I'm not decorating so I don't need a ton of glue or anything. So I can be gluing stuff. Like, um, I have not ventured into the sewing portion of all of that. Um, so when you get it from me, it's going to be, it's going to be, um, the pockets will be glued, not sewed. So just know that in advance. And, um, for those, I mean, I can't imagine that people don't know now what an ephemera folder or an ephemera, ephemera book is, but, um, this is what I'm speaking of when I say ephemera book. Oh, but I just took my ribbon off. It's one of these. Um, this particular one is made with Blue Fern Studios, um, Jen Bishop's a Bird's Waltz kit. And so this is what I'm talking about. Like it's a place to put all the, all your ephemera. So that's, yep. So that's what I'm talking about. I can make you one of those. And, um, as usual, like my giveaways are open worldwide. Like I don't care where you are. Like if you're, if you're overseas, don't feel like you can't participate. I will mail it to you. It's spendy, but that's okay. Um, I, my, and I, and I, okay. So I don't want to say this and like offend anybody who doesn't ship over overseas. Cause that's not my intent either. But my feeling is, is that you guys spend so much time an effort to watch my channel, I'll spend the time and the effort to mail you something. Okay? So, yeah, I hope it, that doesn't give me bad press, but yeah. That said, that's how, that's how I'm going to roll, at least for a while. I mean, obviously, I don't know, there may come a point where that might have to change, but... And Jesse, if you'll remember back the collie, he is so good with her, but oh boy, is he jealous. He's fine when everybody else is playing with the puppy, but the minute I start playing, oh, mm -mm, mm -mm. no, it's one of those, you're my mom. What are you thinking? Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't like it much. Like I said, he's super good with her, but yeah. Nobody messes with his mama. <laughs> I think collie dogs are are a breed all into their own. Like they have, like when he's not happy, the entire house knows he's not happy because he grunts and he lays down in a huff and then he'll sulk. It's really kind of funny. Those of you that know him know, yeah. Oh my gosh, he makes everybody laugh. Okay, so that is that decorated. Now let's throw some ink around the very tops and the sides here. Uh, 
Oh, that I got sidetracked again. Oh, well, okay. So I was thinking, I think I'm going to you or going to do another ring bound journal really soon. Only I'm going to show how to make it or we'll make it together, um, for lack of better words, um, without using these. Because these little, uh, I call them grommets, but they're really eyelets, right? That's what everybody in this community calls them. So for continuity sakes, <laughs> um, let's just call them eyelets. Um, they can get kind of spendy. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. All right, so I don't have the whole pocket. So let's see. So if I made a card four by, let's just say four and three quarters. So four by four and three quarters. Um, and I'm going to let you look at this for a second while I use the cutter real quick. Um, Cause you know, I don't have one of those cool ones. Like a regular paper trimmer. It's the big daddy one. Okay. Let's just make sure it fits in here. Yep, it does. Look at how pretty that looks. Oh, I'm loving it. Okay. Now, and I don't have a specific little picture in mind. And... I don't know where I set my pile of pictures because you know it might help if you're a little organized right oh my hmm well oh didn't I say I was gonna use this yes I did why yes I did So to, and I'm still learning this, guys, if you have, like there's all kinds of things you can use for paper and like, you know, like paper and just different things. So like this, how many of us even like 10 years ago probably would have thrown this away, not realizing that this still all could become ephemera, right? I, I mean, honestly, if I'm being honest, I probably would have thrown it away um, before I started junk journaling because I didn't, I wasn't actually a tag maker. Uh, like, um, I mostly did like, when I did it, I should say, um, I mostly did like scrapbooking stuff. I didn't actually do any cards. And if you saw my card making skills, you would laugh. Um, I did a swap last year one at Christmas and one at Easter. And in my opinion, oh, only one turned out great. And that was up to like, only because I watched Mamie made it. And she has some really stellar cards you can make. <clears throat> and it was one of those ones where like you put stuff like on a string and then you use tissue paper and get it up in there and then you tape it and then you tape the lid closed and you open it up and it all falls down. Yeah. I made, I made a couple of those, though, those I felt like I did okay on, but yeah, I'm not a card maker. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty funny. I did make some shaker cards for the kids last Valentine's day. They turned out okay. Sorry. I needed to get a drink. It's um probably snowing again here soon. Um yeah, like last week, wasn't it that I was saying we hadn't had it had, it, had any moisture? Yeah, I should just learn to shut up cuz it doesn't like stop snowing <laughs> since last week. Um yeah. I think I mean it's melting pretty quick like normal Colorado snowstorms, so that's a blessing. Um but yeah, uh yeah, not real excited about the amount of snow. Um, I'm ready for spring.
you know what, instead of centering this, which I'll probably regret, I think I'm going to go down just a little bit. And then I think I do love, 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 love this whole thing here. So I do think I'm going to tuck one of those in and put one of our little white pieces up there with a word. Oh, you know what? I have to tell you guys the strangest thing. Okay, so I had a friend give me this stamp set, and I'll show you here in just a second. Oh, many years ago. Um, she was moving, and there was one of those things she wasn't going to take along with her, and I was like, sure, I'll take it. And it's, I have no idea, like, the brand, but it's this little stamp set. Um, and it's called, oh, Close to My Heart, my acrylic. Oh, it's like, I don't know. And then it says, In My Heart, right? They're sticky. Look at that. Isn't that gross? Like, is that normal? Ew, right? I don't know. I don't know. Like, both sides are, like, weird. And it's not like, you know, I mean, obviously they're cling stamps, right? I get that. But, yeah, holy cow, gross. In my opinion, anyways. Sorry. I, you know what, I am kind of, I, I don't won't claim to always take the best care of my stamps, but I've learned the hard way that if you don't put them back, then you're not going to be able to find them later. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, that was, it's so weird. And then I got to remember the stays on takes a few minutes to dry. Ooh, yeah, that stuff does kind of stink, doesn't it? I'm talking about the stays on. I don't know. To me, it kind of smells like black licorice, but... And I'm not really a black licorice kind of girl. Okay, let's try to do this without smearing. And you know what? I'm going to use my Fabri Tac. Okay, and then I think we're just going to do the flip through here while we're here. And then we'll call this a series. Let's see. Let's use the end of this. Oh, you know what else? I do need one of the other videos I might fill in a little bit with is um, putting all the donation um, ephemera into that book because I'm going to need it. It turns out March 7th instead. Um, so yeah, I got to get, I got to get cracking on that because they'll need it a few days ahead of time for the sale. So yeah, I'll do that for sure. Um, that out of my way. Um, yeah, it's kind of, when you're inking, it's kind of hard to keep all the little crumbs away from your white, white stuff. So. It's the nature of the beast. Okay. I think that's dry enough. Slip that in there. Oh, yay, I love it. Oh, look just so cute and sweet okay so you see that's it that's all I got for scraps well I guess this little guy too and maybe this little chunk here yep that's it sweet and I think I only used four pages out of that thing we could count it out I mean I don't know that you guys even care but <laughs> I'm always curious about those kind of things and I think it's the accountant in my brain like I need to know 
I mean, I don't really need to know. I just need to know. That made absolutely no sense. And you know, I don't, I don't think I'm going to do a cover or like a closure. I don't think, I don't know. Are there usually cover or closures? Um, let's do that right here. Oh, kind of like mini and big. Yeah, okay, I like that. I don't know. Are closures a thing with ring-bound journals? I don't know. Oh, so what I was saying earlier, I keep getting distracted, guys. And I do think that I'm just going to clip these off. Actually, um, I don't know. Hmm... Yeah, we're just going to trim them off. See what I mean? I always think I'm going to do like closure, like, you know, like charms or whatever, but I never end up doing them. I think I might be intimidated by them a little bit. And my, my good friend Emily has um, showed me how to make charms, but, you know, I just haven't gotten that far yet. All right, so let me get a wipe really quick. And I almost just said the most bizarre thing, but it's kind of true. I almost said, I think I finally got love out of my system. <laughs> what I meant to say was Valentine's Day. Um, yeah, I think I finally have Valentine's Day out of my, out of my system. All right, no more ink, so you won't be distracted by ink. There we go. And the desk could be cleaner for this flip through, but, you know. Oh, and I wobbled you. All right, so the theme now is the 50s, and now it's going to be wet, and then I'll set the journal on it. That's why you love me, right? Because I'm a mess all the time. I just, I, I know why you like me, because I make you feel better about you <laughs> with all my bodgy crafting, right? Okay, so in the theme now of um, silent movie era... We have a nice little gentleman and his and his bride. I'm going to say bride because she's got a veil on. Okay, we flip here and we've got a cute little tag here. Friends always. And this is um, Susan Taylor Brown's um, hands kit. This is her eco black and white kit. Okay, and this is also Susan's um, paper that I um, used out of the kit. Oh, and we got to show the tags, huh? All right. So then um, this is also her eco print here. And this is double thickness because I wanted them a little bit thicker. Okay. I don't know. I just felt like one layer just wasn't good enough to go up in and out of these things. Okay. And um, then we come to the first notebook here. And this one has folded pages in. Um, the other two signatures do not. I went ahead and cut them pretty much to size. And I believe there's seven pages in each signature. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, including the front and back covers. So we'll say seven times four is 28. So however many, 28 times three. We like it 90 pages probably. Again, I can't do quick math when I'm crafting. I have decided that that's just impossible. If I were sitting in front of my uh, computer in one of the offices, I could tell you right away. But, um, yep, so this is another pocket I made out of her background and um, Paper Susan's background. And then um, I just used a piece um, from the kit or the paper pack that Chow Bella. And then this is also from Susan's kit, um, the hands kit. And then this is just a little piece of the ephemera that comes in that Chow Bella paper pack. Okay. Oh, and a pocket. I keep forgetting there are tall pockets up there. I probably should put a tog ta tag topper. Okay, this um, the background for this tag is also Susan Taylor Brown's background. And then these are in her hands kit here. Okay. Ok, 
Okay, and then here comes the second um, signature journal piece here. Also, that one has seven. You know, I keep sitting here thinking that I'm going to be doing the math in my head. <laughs> okay, so and then the, this is the little CD pocket we just made with the little journaling card inside. And it's on um, Susan's background pages there. Okay. Here's the next signature, no, the next pocket, I should say. And let's put it back down here because I keep forgetting the tall one. There's the tall tag in that one. Okay, and then we have a little pocket here. Um, again, with um, some of Susan Taylor Brown's kit, the hands. And then her black and white eco print there for the pocket. A little um, drilling card from the paper pack. Okay, and then this is the third signature. Again, there's seven pages in there. Okay, and then we have a pocket on the back with another little tag that we made together. All right, so that is my silent movie love three ring binder. And I'm not really sure what's gonna happen with this one. I think I'll list it. Um, so if you're looking for it, um, look. Um, it should be up by the time you see this. I'm gonna photograph it right when we get when I get done with this video. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, head on over to Etsy. The link will be down in the description box below. Um, yeah, and so then I will just see you tomorrow with a um, video on altering a notebook. I'll just get that one whipped out too. And yeah. So thank you guys, um, thank you to all the new subscribers and thank you to my old subscribers. I appreciate you all and I hope that you have a stellar weekend and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.